Hello, in this short video tutorial I will show you how to install the R language, also called RBase. First of all, you need to go to the rproject.org website and you can see the URL of this website right here. After you load this website, you need to go to the download section of the R project website. So you will click here or maybe a menu item somewhere here on the left. Uh, after you go, uh, after uh, here you see the so-called CRAN mirrors, which means servers from where you can download our base. I think it doesn't make much difference from where you download it. Just select the first one, and I think it should be fast enough. So here you will select uh, the type of R base installation file that you need, depending on your operating system. So if you're running Mac OS, you will use this one. Uh, since most people are uh, running Windows, so I'll click on this uh, link. So this is what you need, you need the R base. So this is the latest version, 4.0.5. Once in a while you have to update your R base because at some point some packages or even R Studio functionalities may not work properly. So that's why you need to update uh, R base uh, once in a while to the new version. So once again, once you click on this link, your download will start. Uh, you will download the installation file, then you will uh, click on that file to run the installation. You'll go through certain steps. And I'll skip that portion because, um, you know, uh, I'm sure you know how to install uh, files and application software for your computer and your operating system may be different. So that's why I'm skipping. I will show you like how the end result will look like. So once you install this R base, you should be able to find it somewhere in your start menu. Again, if you're using Mac OS, it will look different. So I'll go to letter R. And this is my R base. Okay, so you see I have two versions installed. And by the way, this is not the latest version. So first I installed 402, then I installed 404. So I'll just launch 404, the 64-bit version, because that's the one that works on my operating system right now. So when you launch it, you will see something like this. This is the R console. It's like a terminal that you can use for working with R language. So in a way, you have a full-blown R language installation. So you can do anything that you want using this installation, anything that is available in R. However, it's not very convenient because you'll be using this terminal. So uh, you'll be using like one command line at a time. So something along those lines, for example, X will be assigned the value of two. Y will be assigned the value of two. And then X times X times Y, and you hit enter to get the result, uh, equals to four. So if you will follow me, congratulations, you completed uh, the Hello, uh, Hello World uh, version of uh, R language. So that's, uh, that's what you need to do with R base installation. You don't really need to do anything beyond that. I think I already mentioned that uh, most uh, data scientists, most researchers working with R language, they install R Studio integrated development environment on the top of R base. And that makes uh, development, debugging and, and management uh, of R code much uh, easier than running everything from a console uh, in the fashion that I just showed you.